Welcome everyone to Spy TV Biscuit channel. Breaking news, uh, Rolando Mukwena, the coach of Mamelodi Sundowns, or oh, may I say, the ex-coach of um, Mamelodi Sundowns, uh, have separated ways. It has been confirmed that Rolando Mukwena is no longer the coach uh, of Mamelodi Sundowns, uh, and probably he has been released uh, and his contract uh, has come to an end. And is a good loudspeaker. Zakala and a Zugu loudspeaker, and I couldn't do it off. I no couldn't do it off. I Zakala get much. I Zakala get much. Just want to welcome the coach as well, coach of the season. Coach, I just want to say, well done, man. You know, to to manage a big club with big personalities and big egos, and you put them in line and you you make them, you know, follow your lead. That's that's a one of a kind coach. You've done well for this club. Mama Lodi Santos fans, family will remember you. I just want to say, good luck to the future. I hope you you find something that you that you love. Maybe another team. Maybe you come to Bafana Bafana. You never know what uh, the Lord will will gift you until it happens. So on my side, it's been a you've been a wonderful coach to to watch. Thank you for the memories. Best of luck, coach. Thank you, Taro. Good evening, Taro, and also good evening to the coach and the listeners as well as they are from King Williamstown. As an Orlando Pirates supporter, uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate the coach the success he had at my Melody Sundowns Football Club. Uh, I wish uh, he could also one day come back to Paris as he had two stints at uh, my Melody Sundowns. Secondly, but, uh, as a football fan, uh, I'm sad because... Uh, Coach was not only helping Mamelo de Sundowns, but was also helping the national team, the style of play. You could see his influence in the, even in the national team. Uh, I wish him the coach for wishing the coach all the best in the next job he takes. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much indeed. All of those calls. We are into the final stretch now of the show. The last uh, what, uh, 12 or so minutes of the show. Coach Rulani Mugwena uh, is my guest here tonight. And thanks so much indeed. Everybody watching the show on the YouTube channel, posting your comments. Uh, Coach is going through them. He is reading them and he is appreciative of all of them, including the WhatsApp voice notes uh, as well. We'll come to the reaction of some of those. I want to Quickly go to Billy, T.Y. and Silo. They've been very patiently holding on on the line. Uh, Billy in Mbumalanga, good evening. Good evening, Taro. How's it? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate your patience. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, man. Thank you so much for having me. As uh, as PSL's most <laughs> successful fan, you know, uh, I'd like to apologize to, to Coach Rulani. You know, what has happened is, is truly, truly heartbreaking. I'm... I'm very heartbroken, but before all of that, I just have two questions for Coach Rulani, you know. Uh, you know, Coach, we truly love the work you did here at Sundowns, and um, I just want to find out, do you think there was anything that could have been done differently, you know, by your side to salvage your term, despite not delivering the CAF title, you know? And uh, the other question is, what advice would you give your successor? Looking back on your experiences here at Sundowns, to help them achieve success in the CAF Champions League and beyond. That's all from Billy. me, uh, Tarab. I appreciate you, Baba. Thank you very much indeed. Billy, asking the question, Coach, is there anything that could have been done differently to salvage the situation? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Look, I don't want to talk about the situation. Uh, as I said, even before, I just want to remember Sundowns for the opportunity they gave me. I want to remember Sundowns for the incredible fans that they have uh, and and the warmth that they they always gave me on the stands. I want to remember Sundowns for the trophies we won and the successes that we've achieved. I want to remember Sundowns for for the incredible support and, and knowledge that I gained from the technical team. And I, they all taught me something, every single one of them. You know, the Coach Magnova, Coach Wendell, Coach Michael, Coach Kennedy, even uh, in his first season. Uh, the conditioning department, you know, Mateus, Sbu, Sbu is unbelievable. Uh, and then uh, there's Tato Santos with the recovery, the Stuart uh, with the biokinetesis. Uh, there's the physios, Saki's been there for I don't know how many years, you know, he's amazing. What, a, what, a, what an incredible human being Saki is. 
the doctors Paul and um, Carl, you know, the incredible, incredible, so 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 diligent as professionals. Uh, the kit managers, the ground staff, Bonnie, you know, Bonnie at reception, Tina at reception. Yeah, senior management, and then of course the players, you know. So I want to remember the Sundowns for that, for the good memories, for the brotherhood, for 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 the positive uh, things, and uh, and uh, and I think that's only proper because, I mean, if 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 you've been there for twelve years, you know, I was there. Unfortunately, I, I left, and then I came back for another four years. So you know, I've I've spent twelve very very good years mm -hmm. where I won in the, with the academy. I. I I was the first coach to win the K Mutsipe with the under 19s at Sundowns. Uh, I've won with the first team, so I'm I'm proud. I'm proud of the work and the contribution. And 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 I gave one thing I know when I go to sleep, even from yesterday, is I I know that I've given the club 100%. I mm -hmm. did not cheat. I did not cheat Mamelodi Sundowns. I didn't steal a salary. I didn't steal even one cent. I I I went over and beyond my responsibilities. And I am very, very proud of, uh, I laughed the other day when Ronwin Williams said, um, he said in his accept acceptance speech, he said, yeah. and I want to thank myself. <laughs> 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 but Otherwise, really, honestly, I am I am you? proud of myself yeah. for for the work that 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 we did at the club. And say it loudly, broad shoulders <laughs> out, coach. Don't don't be shy about that. T Y and Rames, good evening. Yes, sir. How are you doing, man? Appreciate your patience as well. Good evening. No problem. I'm gonna try and be as quick as possible. Rob, firstly, thank you for the book. Amazing. I'm reading it for the second time right now. Wow. Thank coach you, Coach Colon. How are you doing, man? I'm very well, big brother. How are you? His book is amazing. I've read it also already. <laughs> ah, it's a great book, man. It's an amazing book. Well, I, mean, I just want to ask you two quick questions. I'm just going to try and be as quick as possible because you're in the last leg of the show. Firstly, you can agree, Tembazwani, amazing player, team captain. Um, I'm just asking as an aspiring coach here. Uh, when you benched him against uh, Esperance in the second leg, what, what, what psychological effect do you think that had on on the team as a whole. And secondly, the, 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 the midfield against the London Pirates in the final, the Cup, if I'm not mistaken, it was Mokwena, it was Zungu, it was um, Matusi Obas, as well as Alende. What was the thinking, the technique, what, what was the tactics behind that? I'd just love to know for myself. Thank you very much. T.Y., thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. T.Y. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I, like, I like tactical questions. I just get so excited when I, when I get tactical questions. Uh, why did we... No, actually the midfield was not Zungu. Zungu was playing as a, as a hybrid. He was playing a hybrid role and he was... He was he's playing the role where we, we, we try to get him into, into, into the next line. Uh, and so the second position that he takes uh, is, is, is a role that Rivaldo also plays. Um, um, but we want to try to get him to the next line so that it's a little bit closer to the opposition box. And because Bongani Zungu's got the pass, uh, he's got the eye, he's got the pass, he's got the experience. And, and when you can get those qualities uh, 20, meters higher and, and and a little bit closer to the opposition half you you get something you can uh, some of the assists I mean Lucas Ribeiro's goal against Amazulu the pa the pass is from just 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 in and around the halfway line and he makes that pass and Lucas lets it run through and he goes and he finishes so so Zungu has those those qualities and th that role he's 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 played and he's been incredible in that role and so, so, so he is one of the people also that I want to thank. You know, I want to thank Zungu. I want to thank Gaston. I want to thank uh, Brian, uh, and I want to thank um, um, yeah, Gaston, Brian, and Kutu. You know, for for what they did while they were at the club and uh, with me, and 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 I wish them well in their in their future endeavors. But yeah, no, the 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 the, the extra midfield actually was Modiba, not Bongani Zungu. Okay. Let me take Silo in Honeydew. Good evening, Silo. Hey, Taro, how's it, brother? I'm good. Quick one to coach. Yeah, just a quick one. I mean, mine is not so much of a question. I think the, the caller before the previous one really summarized exactly where the problem is at Sundowns. When he asked the first question, where could uh, Coach Ulani have salvaged, uh, salvaged his, uh, his, 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 his tenure at Sundowns? I mean, 
we have we have taken winning the league for granted as Sundowns fans. And I'm not even talking about all the Sundowns fans, but if you look at the social media, there's certain Sundowns fans that are happy that the coach has left. We have taken it so, so granted that it's difficult to win the league. I mean, we, we don't have God's given right to win, let alone the league, the Champions League. We take it for granted that season in, season out, we are guaranteed to win the league. I think we have a huge problem at Sundowns, and nobody's talking about it. There's a court case at the moment. We're not going to talk about the merits of that court case. If you really look at the transcripts, if you, li- if you listen to the, to, the, to, the, to the issues around that particular court case, all of it has got the hallmarks of currently what's going on with Coach Rulani. There's a problem at Sundowns, and that's going to catch, us up, catch up with us in the next couple of seasons or so. And lastly, Coach Rulani did say this. I mean, I've, I've been very, very... Uh, uh, terrified and, and scared of listening to some of his interviews. If you listen to Coach Ulani's interviews, especially towards the end of the season, there's an interview that he said in that interview that empires don't collapse. They dilapidate over time because we start taking little things for granted. And that's exactly what's going on at Sundowns. We, I mean, the next coach who's coming, if he doesn't win the, 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 the MTN8, we need to consider that as a failure. If he loses two games in the team, I mean, in the league alone, we need to consider that as a failure. And that's going to be a problem because we are never going to have consistency. We're going to have to keep on firing coaches over and over and over because they will never, ever be able to live up to his standard. Thanks, Rob. I'm done. Silo. You've just dropped the mic, heavy boss. Very. In a nutshell... If ever in the history of comprehension and English there were to be a reference to a summary that stands out for the rest of our existence, I think we would have deemed this our nothing compared to the minutes and 40 seconds that Silo had on air. I don't know what your opinion is. I love Sundowns. Uh, I've grown to love the club. Um, and um, I, I, want, I, want, I want to stay like that. I want, I want those emotions to stay. Like, I want to remember Sundowns for, for, for the love. And, uh, and uh, yeah, um, there's a lot of things, uh, Big Rob. Yeah. Yeah. I asked the question, Coach, um, because we are running out of time. Um, before the break, I said, was it a one-person decision? No, I doubt it because I, d- I don't think the club is run by one person. It's not a one-person club, you know. Mm. Uh, so I, d- I don't think it was a one-person decision, no. How would you summarize your relationship with Flemingberg, sporting director? Well, it's immaterial now because I don't think we'll ever we'll ever meet anymore. Mm. So it's immaterial. Uh, um, but would you say that his influence and opinion about you and your work would have gotten us to where we are now? I don't know. I don't know. Only only the the the, the hierarchy at the club knows. I, don't, I to be honest with you, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. But were you given the latitude to do your work and to sign the players that you wanted to sign? So difficult to answer that question. You know, I was supported. I must say I was supported, yes. And the club was good to me throughout. Uh, and of course, sometimes, sometimes, like in January, everybody knows because I spoke in the press conferences and I was saying, mm. hey, we've got a crisis a little bit, you know, uh, with the strikers, you know, and we're looking for, for, for a striker. Uh, and 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 everybody knows which striker I wanted, you know. And he went on to finish as top goal scorer. But that's football. That's how life. I think as you look for words, search for words, I might not offer you much. <laughs>